Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about a question that was posed to me uh, recently um, by one of my fellow bloggers. So I was asked if there's a way to programmatically using your Dynamo or Revit API determine which uh, door set handing uh, would a door need to get. Uh, for those of you that are maybe not familiar with the door sets, uh, doors will have left and right hand swings so this is basically what I'm trying to figure out here whether it's a left or right handed door so it's going to be a left handed door um, if if you were to stand in, the, in between the door here looking this way towards the uh, uh, with your back toward, with your back towards the, uh, the hinges and if you're if the door is on your left, then it's left-handed. If your door is on the right, so if you're standing here, facing, uh, well, I mean, with your back to the hinges of the door, and your door is and the door set is on the right, then it's a right-handed door. So the whole idea is that uh, you can write this to a parameter. So I created a parameter uh, called the door set, and it's going to be a text parameter, shared parameter, so you can schedule it. Um, and given that if I was to flip the, this door and now it's a right handed door you want the right handed door set for that specific door so you want to make sure that you're scheduling the right thing and for now Revit doesn't have anything specifically for that purpose but I have uh, I have created a little uh, definition in Dynamo with the use of two uh, two methods that Revit has, two properties that each door has. So you've probably seen when you select a door, there's two arrows, one that sits a door facing direction and you can flip that, or you can flip the door uh, hand and that's gonna flip the door either left or right. So based on those two we can easily figure out which way the door is, uh, not which way but uh, whether it's left or right hand door. Um, all it takes is some uh, some simple logic. So I've written a little uh, if uh, a couple of nested statements that look at the facing and hand, and based on that, whether the doors uh, whether the door has either one of those two parameters flipped, uh, it will determine if it's left or right handed door. So I just flipped it, so this door is actually right-handed, the parameter is left. Um, let me just exit out of this family. I made it into custom node, it's going to get posted on, on my blog for download. So really quickly, I'm using categories to collect all the doors in the project, and then getting all elements based on that category. So that output is, um, I'm just going to watch note here. So that output is going to be all of my doors currently in the project, and it's just a sample project. So, and then I'm going to send it through. It's going to look at all of them, figure out whether it's a right or left-handed door, and then I'm using uh, element set parameters by name. I create a parameter called door set, and I'm going to write to it right if it's a right-handed door, and then left if it's a left-handed door. It's that simple. So, if I run it, you probably notice that this door just changed. Um, and then if I flip it this way then all of a sudden this becomes a left handed door so if I rerun the script this changes to left um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward um, easy way to figure out your uh, hardware sets for the doors and write it back to a schedule um, using a new custom node that I've made for Dynamo 7.1 it's called door set handing, it's going to be on my website uh, available for download um, so please visit archi-lab.net and then if you go to the download dynamo section um, there's quite a few custom nodes that I've been making for either 7.1 or the older version uh, 6.3 um, I stopped making new nodes for 6.3 for the most part. I'm uh, just focusing on the 7.1 version since that's the new uh, working version of Dynamo. So please visit my blog, 
or follow me on Twitter um, for latest and greatest on Dynamo, Revit, computational design, Grasshopper, whatever that is that I'm actually currently working on um, or people are asking me about, I'll be posting it here. Alright, thanks for watching.